Hello and welcome to another lecture. And today we are going to discuss something about atrial septal defect, ASD as it is commonly called. Henceforth, we'll call it as ASD. So that is understood. It is not a autism spectrum disorder. So before we begin, I would like to request you to please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for your continuous support. So atrial septal defect. So atrial septal de a a a ASD are primarily of four types. Four types, the third, the fourth one is rare. So we'll focus on the first three types. The first one is also called ostium primum defect. Now, ostium primum defect, as you know that during the formation of Heart. There is ostium primum formation and this ostium uh, primum for abnormality is usually, usually associated with endocardial cushion defect. This associated with accompanies endocardial cushion defect and this is due to development, uh, initial abnormalities in the development and as you know that it is associated with endocardial cushion defect, please comment down below which syndrome it, it is associated with. The second one is uh, ostium secundum ASD and which is the most common type of ASD. Most common type of ASD overall, again with uh, the Down syndrome, the most common Thing is AVSD, but uh, normally or generally or overall, the most common cause of ASD or the most common form of ASD is ostium secundum ASD. So this is uh, due to, you know, abnormality, uh, abnormality in fossa ovalis. And it is usually due to excessive resorption of the atrial septal uh, wall. So this is the most common type. The third one is sinus venosus defect. Sinus venosus defect. What is sinus venosus? Now there is defect in entry. Defect in entry of SVC. SVC and RA. Or IVC and RA. So the entry point of IVC and SVC are abnormal. So there is usually it is associated with the anomalous drainage of right upper pulmonary vein and it, it may be associated with some forms of partial anomalous pulmonary venous return. So this is the third type and the fourth type are coronary sinus septal defect. So these ones are rare and they many people do not consider them a form of ASD. So we may exclude them well out. The three common types are these and the most common amongst them is the ostium secundum defect. Now, what clinical features do you see? So usually in a patient with ASD, the child is usually thin, thin and slender. And on examination, on examination, there is wide fixed S2. Now, please comment down below that why is there a wide fixed S2 present? And uh, if you do not answer, then I'll definitely answer at the end. Uh, what other thing you can find? You can find hyperdynamic RV, RV impulse. Hyperdynamic RV impulse. You may also find grade 2, 3, out of six, systolic murmur. It is usually not associated with thrill. So then the murmur that we find in ASD is a flow murmur. Now, what is a flow murmur? Now, what happens is the difference between the two atria, the left atria and the right atria, the pressure difference between the two atria is not very much uh, high. So in the right atria, it is usually 2 to 4 millimeter of mercury and the, the uh, left atria is 4 to 6. So there is not much difference between the two atria. So there is not uh, there is, uh, the turbulence between the uh, flow of 